In this Terraform video, I will show you how to deploy resources using AWS Cross Account Assume role in TerraGrind. We requires two AWS accounts. The source account will be used to build and execute Terraform APIs to the destination. All resources are created on the destination account and you does not requires to create any users or user groups on the destination AWS account. Please follow the video to delegate access across AWS accounts using IAM roles. Now, let us create a user on the source account and give proper permission to assume the role. This user will be added to the I am trust policy of the source account. We are now creating an inline policy for the user that we just created to assume the destination AWS account. Access key is used to configure the AWS profile. We are going to use Cloud9 to build and execute Terraform. Configure the Cloud9 is seen on the video. Let's check the folder structure of the Terraform project. You can edit the common vars file to change the project's properties such as project name, backend bucket's name, source code connection ARN etc. You can duplicate the existing folder under the deployment folder to create as many environments as you wish. For example, if you have a dev account on a dedicated AWS account, you can duplicate the folder and name it accordingly. Here on this account.hcl file you should add the account ID and profile name. The account.hcl file helps to detect the required region from the folder name. The env file helped to detect the environment such as dev, prod, staging etc. To deploy your AWS resources to a dedicated AWS account, you just need to duplicate the folder under the deployment folder and modify the account.hcl file. Make sure that the profile name is matching with correct AWS profile.
To deploy the resources, you make sure that the Terraform and Terragrunt is installed. Run the command Terragrunt run all apply to deploy the resources. This will create a CloudFront distribution with two buckets for failover. One bucket will be created in the US East 1 and one will be in the US East 2 region. Explore the source code to find out how the Terraform alias is used to create a multi-region based resources. It will also create a pipeline with source, build, and cross-region deployments. You should customize this based on your requirements. In this example, I have used an Angular project to build. Check out the source code and change the build spec file name according to your needs. This project is customized specifically for a demo. You can customize your project with a Lambda function to invalidate the cache after deployments. Hope you liked the video. See you in the next video. Thank you.